confidence is the ability to move, in my opinion, from thought to action. What's incredible is in five seconds flat, self-doubt can take over and rob you of your power and rob you of joy and rob you of, of your potential. Or in five seconds flat, you can actually use one stupid little trick to push yourself to grab it. But see, the real thing that happened for me, and this is, this is something that, that um, is a really important topic for me, is that there's a, there's, when you talk about personality, extroverts, introverts, a lot of us really, I know I did this, I was all wrong about what confidence meant. I thought confidence was a personality trait. I thought that people that are outgoing are the confident ones, right? And the truth is, confidence is not a personality trait at all. It's a skill. And a lot of the extroverted people that you know are actually very insecure. I used to be one of them. I used to be the kind of bossy, crass, loudmouth that didn't believe in myself, that didn't believe in my ideas, that didn't have the confidence and the courage to really be the real me. Who I am, who I'm not, flaws and all. There are a tremendous number of introverted people that feel uncomfortable uh, putting the attention on themselves, but they're very, very confident in their ideas. They definitely believe in themselves. And so when you start to separate confidence, not as a matter of personality, but as a skill that you can acquire, because confidence is the ability to move, in my opinion, from thought to action. Because when you're a confident person, you believe enough in yourself and your capabilities that you're willing to try, that you're willing to share. To me, confidence isn't the assuredness that it turns out, it's the willingness to try. And, and that was a huge insight for me. And, and what a lot of people don't know about me, although I, I share this on stage and I'm extremely open about this because this is a, a, a topic that's really important to me, is that the m single most profound use of the five second rule is mind control. And I say that as a lawyer, I will tell you, you can use this stupid trick to cure yourself of anxiety.